Good morning. Thanks for starting your day with Denver 7 News. I'm Molly Hendrickson and I'm Brian Sanders. Let's get right to our top stories. The Cameron Peak fire burning since mid August is now the largest fire in state history. It's now consumed more than 158,000 acres. Over the past 24 hours, strong winds spread the fire quickly to the southeast, damaging an unknown number of homes and outbuildings. It's still too dangerous for fire crews to get in to assess the burn area. Mandatory evacuation orders are still in place this morning. After two days of questioning, the Senate Judiciary Committee will vote today on whether to send Judge Amy Coney Barrett's nomination to the full Senate for confirmation. If Barrett is confirmed, she will replace the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg and give the high court a 6-3 to three conservative majority. Denver 7 will carry all the proceedings as they happen. You can watch anytime by searching for the Denver 7 channel on your Roku, Apple TV, Android TV, or Amazon Fire Stick. Well, there may not be a presidential debate tonight, but both candidates will get a chance to talk to voters. Right here on Denver 7, former Vice President Joe Biden will participate in an ABC News town hall with voters in Pennsylvania. On another network, President Trump will hold a town hall at the same time from Florida. The dueling town halls begin at 6 tonight. Now here's meteorologist Lisa Hidalgo with your Denver 7 forecast. Yeah, and fire danger was extremely high yesterday. We're looking at a breezy start to our morning, a cold front rolling through overnight. It's a lot colder out there. It's not going to be as windy today, but we're still seeing wind speeds upwards of 15 to near 30 miles per hour, especially up and through the Front Range Mountains and foothills. So it's going to be a little breezy early on and definitely a lot colder. This morning, you're waking up to 30s. We're likely going to drop down to near freezing, and we have a number of frost advisories in effect through early morning across the eastern plains. Teens and 20s in the mountains this morning. Definitely Definitely a slow warm up by 12 by noon. We're going to be in the low 50s. We'll hit highs in the mid to upper 50s this afternoon. So a lot cooler than yesterday compared to yesterday at the same time. It's about 15 to 20 degrees cooler. We'll see a nice warm up heading into the weekend with another cold front on Sunday.